today we got this woman who only eats ice cream bars. That's it. 50 year old Kimberly eats almost nothing but ice cream bars. I wanna know why these ice cream bars look so thick. Y'all can't blame Kimberly. She just wanna suck on something big and cold and taste good. That's why she likes ice cream. I get obsessed over the ice cream bars. They caress my throat all the way down to my stomach. It's almost like having a lover. Okay, something tells me she doesn't have a man. She need a man's in her life. And because she doesn't have a man's, she's gonna suck on these popsicles. It's the next best thing, right? Like, oh, I love that warm and fuzzy feeling going down my throat. Girl, we all know what you mean. Oh, God, this is so bad. Kimberly eats as many as 40 ice cream bars every single day. 40! 40 ice cream bars a day! Do you not get sick of this? You know when I watch these addicted to food videos, I don't get it. I mean, I could eat something and it could be the best thing I have ever tasted in my life. But if I keep eating it, I'm gonna get sick of it. Do these people not get sick of eating the same thing every single day? Especially when it's ice cream. You can only have so much of something so cold and so sweet. Doesn't she eat anything salty? Like some chicken and rice? Oh my god, after eating so much ice cream and sugar, a plate of chicken and rice, even some damn lettuce would be so good that's just me when I eat something super unhealthy something really healthy sounds very good to me from morning until late into the night there's times I get up and eat ice cream bars in the middle of the night every couple of hours Kimberly over here just wake it up in the middle of the night you know regular people they'll wake up in the middle of the night to go pee maybe get a sip of water nah she'll come downstairs in her footy pajamas PJs. She eating ice cream with ice cream PJs on. And here I thought you were a grown ass woman. Just waking up every few hours. Oh, let me get a couple of ice creams. I have a sudden urge to suck on something cold and sweet. She's so fed up with herself. Like after she finished that one, she's just like, oh my god, how? I can't live like this anymore. This is when I should call TLC. <laughs> when I eat these ice cream bars, it is like everything else goes away except diabetes that will not go away so girl you gotta know when to stop her whole freezer is ice cream it is like everything else goes away but everything doesn't go away i know in the few moments that you're eating the ice cream you might feel so good but nothing's gonna go away you can't just keep pretending like everything's okay kimberly you gotta fix this shit kimberly consumes hundreds of ice cream bars each month up to a staggering 10,000 per year. 10,000 ice creams per year. Oh, she only like one brand too. Only the Roland Family Farm ice cream. Girl, you gotta expand a little bit. It's like she only eats ice cream bars. She doesn't eat the tubs of ice cream. I know that it's an addiction and wonder what's so wrong with me that I need so many ice cream bars a day. As she's doing her interview, she's eating one. Guys, I need this right now. Y'all gotta give me one. I need it now. I don't know what it's like to have an addiction like this, but even she doesn't realize. Like, she doesn't know what's wrong with her. So she's just like, I don't know. Whatever it is, I can't stop. It just makes me feel so good. Like, just watching this makes me want to brush, floss, and mouthwash the shit out of my mouth. I've struggled with my weight ever since I was 10. 280 pounds was the highest that I ever was. 10 years ago, Kimberly underwent gastric bypass surgery to control her weight and lost 150 pounds. So she's been overweight her whole life, got gastric bypass surgery, her life was in check. And then this happened. She kept the weight off until three years ago when she became obsessed with ice cream bars. I went through a really painful divorce. My self-esteem was decimated. I just collapsed into myself. And this is how it begins. I mean, I can't really say anything. I know this is how addictions happen. People turn to food for comfort, and I know it feels good, but it's so bad for you. I feel like if anybody's in this position, if they're extremely depressed, something awful happened in their life, as hard as it's gonna sound, food, drugs, alcohol, it's just gonna make things worse. Get addicted to going for a walk. I know it doesn't sound as good, but just walking, walking in your neighborhood, walking in a park, just walking anywhere. I feel like that's something that's just really good. It'll take your mind off things, and it's a healthy thing to get addicted to. I mean, you don't see people on TLC addicted to going for a walk. My mom was visiting, and she bought a box of these ice cream bars, and then I decided I'm gonna try one. 
it was like crack. Mother, how could you? You started this. You know I'm going through a divorce and shit. And she gonna bring home some ice cream. Like, Kimberly, I got what you need. I got that good shit. <laughs> But again, I don't understand how she doesn't get sick of them. Oh, I got so many flavors. After eating ice cream more than once a day, like, I can't. I would just feel sick. Kimberly rarely sees her two sons. Younger son Drew is away at college, and older son Stephen lives in New York. Without her sons at home, the impact of her divorce has been even greater. I do think it affected her a lot that we're gone. She really doesn't have anybody else. Also, six months ago, Kimberly moved to Reading, Pennsylvania, where she knows few people. She's alone, and I think that her comfort is eating ice cream bars. Okay, now this just plain sucks. So she has two kids. One of them is in college, and one of them lives away from her. And she moved to a city where she doesn't know anybody. So she has, like, no friends, no family. She just lives by herself, and ice cream is the only comfort she has. It's completely shut off from the world. When I eat these ice cream bars, all I feel is contentment and loved. It's actually pretty sad, but I feel like everybody should know when enough is enough. When you are eating 40 ice cream bars a day, do you not realize you have a problem and you need to stop, you need to fix it? My boyfriend has a similar problem to this, but with caffeine. I buy a lot of energy drinks. I like to have an energy drink before I film videos, because otherwise I'm always tired. I mean, the ones I drink, they're unsweetened. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no sweeteners, no nothing. Nothing. No calories, so they're not awful, but my boyfriend likes to drink them for fun Like he'll drink two or three of them in a day He'll drink whatever's in the fridge because I buy it if she doesn't buy the ice cream and she goes to the grocery store And forces herself to buy lettuce chicken. I don't care prepared meals anything Just if you don't buy the ice cream you won't eat it three years Kimberly's excessive consumption of ice cream bars has affected her health. She's gained back 50 pounds and has type 2 diabetes. Oh my god, it's too late. It is too late. I don't develop a healthy lifestyle. I don't think that I'm going to live to the ripe old age. She's not getting enough nutrition and just eating sugar all day on top of her diabetes. If she doesn't stop her addiction, I'm afraid she's going to end up dead. This is a wake up call. Kimberly and I Anybody watching this video who might have an unhealthy addiction, especially food addiction, I want you guys to change your life. I want you to eat healthier. I honestly want everybody to eat healthier. I know it might sound hard, impossible, whatever. I want you guys to pay attention to what you're eating, what you're drinking. I want you guys to eat and drink healthier. I know you probably can't do this overnight, but I want you to make a healthy choice today. So instead of drinking soda, Coke, some super sweetened drink today, drink water just today. Try it or be like me and have unsweetened tea. And if you order a drink from Starbucks, order it half sweet. Cutting out some processed sugar, I think is a really good first step to being healthier. All right, if you guys haven't had enough, here's another lady who is obsessed with sweets. Christine is addicted to sugar. Sugar is the love of my life. What she look like she been crying for? She's saying that like sugar smacked her in the face. And before filming this, whispered in her ear, bitch, don't say anything bad about me. Sugar is the love of my life. Sugar is the love of my life. No, it's not. Sugar is an abusive relationship, which will give you diabetes. Candy bars, jelly beans, cakes. She can't go a single hour without a sugar fix. Let me tell you, I love sweet stuff. I love chocolate, I love pastries, but in moderation. If I have too much, I get a tummy ache. I feel sick and then I never want it again. But these people, it's like they don't get sick of it. It's like the only thing their taste buds like. Y'all don't like chicken, y'all don't like rice. Cover and not be empty. Her son Kevin is sick with worry. If things don't change, I can see getting a phone call in the middle of the night from a hospital in California. Like her kid is worried. Why doesn't he just take all her shit, throw it away, put some healthy stuff in the fridge? I'm telling you, if you are only buying healthy groceries, then you won't eat unhealthy. It's Mike Dow and JJ Virgin help Christine to let go of the past. Why is this guy? Name JJ Virgin. Is that the guy Wolf Vicky is with? Like seriously, this dude, every time I watch a show, his name is JJ Virgin. Legit. I don't know who to feel bad for. The girl with the sugar addiction or the dude called JJ Virgin. Can't just take it away. Oh, but he can. 47-year-old Christine is completely dependent on sugar. When I'm chewing candy, it, it's comforting to me. I don't get why she doesn't just chew gum. Christine devours cake for breakfast, mm. bags of candy for lunch, 
and Sundays for dinner. All right, girl, this is too much. It's too much. Each day she consumes over 6,500 calories in nothing but sweets. Oh my God, that is terrible. 6,500 calories is more than double. It is basically triple what she's supposed to eat in a day. And every excess 3,500 calories she eats, she's gonna gain a pound. Mom can't even go one hour without eating sugar. When I wake up in the morning, I have to reach over and grab my black jelly beans. I eat sweet things everywhere. I eat first thing in the morning. Ugh! Imagine waking up and just eating chocolate. That actually sounds gross. I hate eating sweet shit when I wake up. Has the mentality of a five-year-old when she goes grocery shopping. It's just junk food and sugar. Bro, this grown ass woman just getting cookies and candy. Somebody take the shopping cart away from her. Put some lettuce in there. This is what I'd buy. And this would only last me a week. A week. Christine grew up on a farm in rural Nebraska as one of eight children but she never enjoyed any of the fresh foods the farm had to offer. Man, that sucks, she had it good. Living that healthy life, fresh eggs, fresh meat, all that good stuff. No, I hate it. I liked the, the candy and the, the ho-hos and the Twinkies. <laughs> they made me happy. Christine married young at the age of 20. After a bitter divorce, Christine's children went to live with their father. Christine turned to sugar for comfort. Okay, so she had a really nasty divorce and then she turned to sugar. It's how it starts. I want you guys to watch this and see how fucking terrible it is. Don't be like Christine. Don't be like Kimberly. Eat more lettuce. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Comment below, let me know what your favorite food is and make a healthy choice today, okay? And subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.